This Earth 2.0 is one of thousands of exoplanets that scientists have discovered over the last few decades. From our own solar system to the farthest reaches of the Milky Way galaxy, planets come in all shapes and sizes. Some being made of gas and others of dense metals, these planets give rise to multiple potential living conditions, as well as the possible development of eccentric life. Today we are going to explore the uniqueness of these celestial bodies, the potential for alien life and habitability, and finally the possibility of these planets being even better than Earth. Buckle up as we journey through the cosmos to unveil the hidden mysteries of the universe's near-infinite amount of exoplanets. Our solar system consists of eight planets, half of them being rocky planets, two of them gas giants, and the final two ice giants. It also contains arguably up to 19 dwarf planets. Some of these planets, such as Jupiter and Venus, can be observed and studied from Earth using basic telescopes or even the naked eye. However, Neptune, the farthest planet in the solar system, lies 2.7 billion kilometers away from the Earth. This immense distance allowed this object to remain shrouded in mystery for hundreds of years and left scientists with the the task of innovating to overcome it. In August of 1977, NASA and the Jet Propulsion Laboratory launched the Voyager 1 and 2 space probes. The goal of these probes? To study the giants of the solar system and even beyond the sun's heliosphere. Over the course of 12 years, these probes made flybys of the four outer planets and many of their moons, bringing us nearly every real picture that exists of the far out solar system. The Voyager probes were equipped with dozens of scientific instruments and since the beginning of the Voyager mission almost 50 years ago, we have become much more knowledgeable about our solar system. Not only that, but we have also gained insights into the possible makeups of other stellar systems. After coming within 5,000 kilometers of Neptune on August 25th, 1989, the Voyager 2 probe finished its main objective and after making a final flyby of Pluto, headed into interstellar space. As the radio messages from the spacecraft decreased almost entirely in the coming years, we left golden records containing the evidence of humanity's existence to share with any civilization who might get their hands on the probe. The golden records are gold-plated discs that can record both audio and visual, and on the discs are photos of Earth and many of the life forms who coexist here. While we gained an innumerable amount of knowledge from the Voyager missions, there is always the possibility that more exists within our solar system than what all current evidence would suggest. One of these possibilities is the theorized Planet 9, a massive planet 5 to 10 times the size of Earth which orbits the Sun at a distance of up to 400 astronomical units, or around 60 billion kilometers. While there are many theories as to the origins of Planet 9, scientists continue to study the outer solar system, learning everything we can to further strengthen our understanding of the cosmos. Our home star bears eight different planets, but what about all the other stars in the universe? Any planet belonging to a solar system other than ours is dubbed an exoplanet, and to this day, scientists and astronomers have discovered over 5,000 exoplanets. However, with this being said, each of the 200 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy is believed to have an average of one planet. Now, it is common knowledge that there are millions of planets in space that are yet to be discovered. This has only been the case for around 30 years. It was in 1992 that astronomers discovered the two exoplanets Poltergeist and Phobiter, which were found orbiting a pulsar in the Virgo constellation. It just so happens that these two exoplanets were also the first ever discovered pulsar planets. If you would like to learn more about pulsar planets and other terrifying space objects, make sure to check out this video of ours. These first exoplanets and many others in the coming years were discovered using techniques such as the transit and radio velocity methods. The transit method involves monitoring the luminosity of a star and checking for consistent dimming. This dimming is minuscule, however, it allows scientists to predict the presence of an exoplanet in a distant system. The radio velocity method takes advantage of a concept known as the Doppler effect, named after the Austrian physicist Christian Doppler. Long story short, the Doppler effect describes the shifts in wavelength produced by an object that is either moving towards us or farther away. Stars that are home to planetary bodies are wobbling stars that create small changes from the anticipated shift in their wavelength. The reason for these stars wobbling? The gravitational effect of orbiting planets. Now that we have explored the different methods of which astronomers are able to discover these exoplanets, let's dive a little deeper into the true cosmic identity of these celestial phenomena. While we have identified the three different types of planets in our solar system, there are dozens of more types of planets, both real and hypothesized, used by astronomers to categorize planets. One of these types is the ocean world, a planet which is covered almost entirely of water. 
This water makes up 10% of their total mass, compared to the 0.05% of the Earth's mass that is made up of water. Another more significant type of exoplanet often referenced in the search for extraterrestrial life is the Earth-like exoplanet. However, we will talk about this more later in the video. But no matter how planets are categorized, the fact stands that they are all very unique and can come in numerous shapes and sizes. From planets multiple times larger than Jupiter to planets with ring systems that make Saturn's look like child's play. Discovering exoplanets really gives us an insight on what all the universe has to offer. It also opens our imagination to how life could possibly come to be on these alien worlds. Before we explore life on these distant planets and the potential for planets even better than Earth, it is important for us to take a step back to not only be grateful for our current circumstances, but also to understand our insignificant in the grand cosmic theater. The Earth is currently the only sustainable home for humanity, and in recent history we have had a pretty bad track record of taking care of it. From mass deforestation to the excess use of fossil fuels, Many people have doubts about our future on the blue planet. However, whether you choose to hope for the best or the worst, we must accept the fact that humanity could be brought to its end by things that are simply just out of our control. Just like the dinosaurs, we could become extinct by one planet buster asteroid. Or, the unpredictability of the sun could produce a massive solar storm leaving the Earth's atmosphere severely damaged and uninhabitable. This sense of impending doom towards our civilization is best categorized by an idea known as the Great Filter. The Great Filter is a proposed solution to the Fermi Paradox, basically giving us a possible answer to why we have yet to find extraterrestrial life. It is possible that somewhere in a civilization's timeline, there exists an extinction event that is either extremely difficult or even impossible to overcome. This can include anything from the existential phenomenon mentioned earlier, to the self-destruction of a civilization due to war or climate change, to the extremely specific circumstances required to produce life in the first place. The true terror of the Great Filter comes in whether this filter lies behind us or further ahead in our timeline. While it may be a hard pill to swallow, the truth is, the immense scale and emptiness of space could be impossible to conquer by any civilization. As the arrogant species that we are, it is important for us to understand the possibility that this Great Filter lies ahead, and in anticipation do everything we can to prepare ourselves. Luckily for us, many astronomers and futurists believe that the Great Filter itself describes the process of a civilization becoming multiplanetary. Once a civilization is able to establish permanent self-sustaining colonies on multiple planetary bodies, their chance of extinction due to extinction events plummets. And in the recent years, we have seen massive efforts being made in the fields of space exploration and travel. Companies such as NASA and SpaceX have plans to start building colonies on bodies such as the Moon and Mars in the coming years. If the concept of colonizing the stars really interests you, or you would be interested in exploring the potential of building massive superstructures in space to house humanity, make sure you check out this video about space habitats. What if humanity is forced to move to another planet due to uncontrollable circumstances? Thankfully, in the past 30 years, there have been numerous studies and experiments trying to solve this exact problem. Scientists and astronomers have discovered many Earth-like exoplanets and have evidence to suggest that the galaxy could harbor anywhere up to billions more. This gives us a sense of optimism when we think about what the future may hold for our home planet. Today, we are going to explore three of the best candidates for humanity's next home. And thousands of years from now, our descendants may look back on our achievements and celebrate their own stellar homes as Earth 2.0s. Before we start talking about the potential replacements for planet Earth, let's talk about what makes a planet Earth-like in the first place. The biggest and most common classification for an Earth-like planet is their size. However, other measurements have to be taken into account when we look at planets such as Kepler-452b, which is five times larger than the Earth, but it still exhibits many other Earth-like properties. In order for a planet to sustain life as we know it, it must have liquid water present, and scientists have found one way of determining whether a planet has the potential for water or not. The ring around a star in which a planet can orbit while still being the correct temperature for liquid water to exist is called the habitable zone. To put this into perspective, both Venus and Mars lie at the opposite boundaries of our sun's habitable zone, and because of this we see a stark contrast in the atmospheres and potential living conditions of these planets. There are many possible scenarios of a planet that could produce the exact conditions needed for life. This life could be very different than what we know, so for the sake of this video we will only be looking at the planets that could sustain human life. The first Earth-like exoplanet that we will explore today is the closest to our solar system, and one of the leading candidates for planets containing life. 
This planet is Proxima Centauri b, and it belongs to a triple star system known as Alpha Centauri, located around 4 light years away from Earth. This planet has a mass just 16% larger than Earth's, and orbits its star, a red dwarf, at a distance of 0.05 astronomical units. While almost all we know about this planet is from simulations, there has been a lot of hype surrounding the planet and its potential for harboring extraterrestrial life. Recent suggestions have even pointed towards the evidence of artificial light on Proxima Centauri b. However, many observations of the planet have left astronomers with doubts about the true habitability being so close to its parent star, it's possible that Proxima Centauri b is tidally locked, meaning it does not rotate on its axis. This would cause half of the planet to be constantly scorching hot, while the other half is eternally freezing cold, leaving the only habitable areas of the planet in the boundaries between hemispheres. Not only that, red dwarfs are known to output much more radiation than yellow dwarfs like the sun, and because of this, it is possible that the atmosphere of Proxima Centauri is a huge obstacle in the formation of life. Next, we travel nearly 1800 light years to the constellation Cygnus, and here lies the super Earth, the true Earth 2.0, Kepler 452b. As mentioned before, this Earth like planet is a true behemoth, measuring up to five times the mass of Earth. This planet was discovered in 2015, orbiting the extremely sun like star Kepler 452, this star being within 4% the mass and 12% the size of the Sun. This planet lies within the habitable zone of its star, and has an orbital period of around 385 days, very similar to Earth. Not only that, it has an orbital radius of around 1.04 AU, and its equilibrium temperature is only slightly warmer than Earth's. One big advantage of Kepler 452b over the Earth in the race of life is its age. While the Kepler 452 star is very similar to our sun, it is estimated to be around 1.5 billion years older, giving its respective planets much more time to produce life. But sadly for this Earth 2.0, these similarities might not be enough, and as with the other Earth-like planets, scientists have reasons to argue against its habitability. The slight difference in energy produced by the different stars may be enough to trap Kepler 452b with the runaway greenhouse effect. Not only this, astronomers still do not have a way to prove that this Super Earth is really a rocky planet. While the high density points towards Kepler 452 being a rocky planet, the distance between us and the celestial giant is too vast for us to know for sure. The last destination that we will visit today is a true gold mine in the exoplanet search, the TRAPPIST-1 system. In 2017, scientists created a huge roar in the astronomy community when they discovered a star with seven planets, four of which lie in the star's habitable zone. These planets were all comparable in mass to the Earth, and at least two of them have been identified as terrestrial planets. However, due to the nature of red dwarf stars mentioned before, it is likely that all of these planets are tidally locked and have weak, if any, atmospheres. Of the Four planets. The commonly referred to as the most habitable is Trappist 1e. This planet is believed to be one of the hypothetical ocean planets. While it is only around 70% the size of Earth, this planet has similar gravity and radius, making it a lot more similar to our home than some of the other distant Earth like planets. Trappist 1e orbits its sun at a distance of 0.03 astronomical units, only taking six Earth days to complete one full orbit. And much like Proxima Centauri b, scientists still do not have evidence of an atmosphere on the planet. Unlike the neighboring exoplanet, TRAPPIST-1e has very heavy evidence suggesting that it is a rocky planet, such as its density and the lack of a hydrogen-dominated atmosphere. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more related content in the future. If we taught you anything, then please let us know in the comments below. There are an innumerable amount of celestial bodies to be discovered and explored throughout the universe. Whether humanity is met with an extinction-threatening event, or the expansion of the sun eventually forces us to a new home, it is important for scientists and astronomers alike to prepare a future destination for humanity. From the possible ocean worlds of the TRAPPIST-1 system, to the Earth 2.0 giant of Kepler-452, we have explored some of the most captivating and appealing Earth-like planets that have been discovered to date. While we will likely find ourselves busy trying to find the new potential homes for our species, it is also important to remember that there are other civilizations possibly looking to make Earth their next home.